It is the SmackDown exclusive live premiere event, No Mercy, coming your way from the CFG Bank Arena in Baltimore, Maryland, this Saturday night at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. What a night of action lined up, including personal scores to be settled and championships to be decided. Back on August the 18th, Friday night SmackDown in Sacramento, the one and only Ricochet outlasted a David vs. Goliath meeting with the Nigerian giant Omas. Ricochet may have won the battle on that night, but he may have only started a war. Omas made his way to ringside several weeks ago to show Ricochet that he hadn't won the match, just simply survived. Omas ragdolled Ricochet all around ringside, leaving the human highlight reel down in pain. Their paths cross again this Saturday night. So will lightning strike in the same place twice for Ricochet? Or is Omas about to bulldoze over the competition as he ascends to the next level on SmackDown? After losing his United States Championship to Cody Rhodes at SummerSlam and having his undefeated streak broken, the ring general Guther has switched into a new gear. And Johnny Gargano felt that firsthand Guther not only earned a win over Gargano several weeks ago, but was sent crashing through the announce table by hands of the ring general. Taking issue with all of Imperium, Gargano enlisted the assistance of two men who have had their own issues over the summer with Guther, Kaiser, and Vinci, that being the Mysterio family, Ray and Dominic. Now the Mysterios stand alongside Johnny Gargano in an attempt to push aside the intimidating Imperium in a massive six-man tag team match. Bianca Belair and Shotzi were a team that came together through mutual respect. Respect that was earned after three back and forth battles between the two back in 2022. Earlier this year, when Shotzi was in need of a partner for WrestleMania, she called in a favor from a woman she knew was hungry for gold, that being Bianca Belair. The two went on to become the women's tag team champions and held titles all the way to the month of May. But after losing said gold, friction began to rise between these two women. Some said it was just a competitive nature of the two, but the tag team partners were pinned in a one-on-one -on -one battle for a spot in Money in the Bank back in July, a qualifying match that Bianca Belair would go on to win. As Bianca turned her sights on winning the contract, Shotzi sat with that loss for weeks, only to re-emerge with a sneak attack from behind, cutting ties with her now former tag team partner. The EST of WWE now seeks revenge over the ballsy badass as Bianca Belair and Shotzi write another chapter in their storied history. In the midst of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament, Cruiserweight Champion Santos Escobar has sat back and watch the competition battle it out. However, he did not have his eye on this potential emerging challenger, that being Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. Gable stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Cruz del Toro and then Joaquin Wilde and went two for two against members of Legado del Fantasma. Now he looks to complete the trio and score the oh-so-important win over the Emperor of Lucha Libre with a prestigious Cruiserweight Championship on the line this Saturday night. Cody Rhodes spent all spring and summer on the hunt for championship glory, and he finally meant his destiny at SummerSlam, becoming the United States Champion. But ever since that fateful night in Levi Stadium, a target has been painted on the back of Cody the size of Eagles, a target that Braun Breaker has been hell-bent on hitting. Braun laid out Cody with his own gold on SmackDown and has continued to carve a path of destruction week after week. Now Breaker sets his sights on winning his first main roster championship, but the American Nightmare's pursuit of the United States title and will to stay on top of the mountain drives him in an attempt to retain his championship. It's Braun Breaker challenging Cody Rhodes for the red, white, blue, and gold, the United States Championship. It was back in June that Shayna Baszler claimed the keys to the queendom and became the WWE Women's Champion. But it was just a few short days later that laid the groundwork for where we are heading this Saturday night. An open challenge that was answered by a returning Candice LeRae. LeRae gave Shayna all she had to the point of exhaustion for Baszler and leaving her frustrated in her inability to defeat the returning Poison Pixie. The Queen of Spades was left with no choice and elected for a count-out victory to retain her title. 
Ever since that night, Candice has continued to build momentum on SmackDown, all culminating in a victory over seven other women in a number one contender's battle royal. With a second chance to become champion, will Candice LeRae pull off the upset and defeat the dominating champion? Or will Shayna Baszler find a way to defeat quite possibly her toughest challenge to date and retain her coveted title? And in the main event, tensions have been running higher than ever in the Friday Night Smackdown locker room as all stars of the blue brand have vied to become the next challenger in line for Drew McIntyre's World Heavyweight Championship. With McIntyre never backing down from a challenge and these top superstars' inability to determine the number one contender, all roads have led to this colossal main event. It's a five-man elimination match, four challengers, one champion, Austin Theory, AJ Styles, Edge, Randy Orton, battle it out with the champion himself, Drew McIntyre. The last man standing will be bestowed the honor of waving the flag of the blue brand as the World Heavyweight Champion. Do not miss the epic SmackDown Live premiere event live this Sunday night at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Subscribe, become a member, turn on the notifications, and be a part of history this Saturday at No Mercy. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a ride.